My name is Shazeb. I go to cons, uh, cosplay, uh, meet other cosplayers there. Well, I say meet, you know, I'm a bit too shy to actually <laughs> go up and talk to people. I think that's uh, one of the downfalls of um, us nerds at times, being so pushed down by society. You become a bit too shy to just be open and talk to other people, you know. There's a form of escapism in any uh, fiction or universe, like you open up a book, start reading it, get engrossed in it, that's a form of escapism. Secondary school or uh, college or anything, there's always the different groups of people, like the cosplayers and nerds and stuff, they're all going to be one group, they're going to be there, and then they're going to be talking about cosplaying, and that's where I'm going to be. But then like the other popular group that, because I was, I was never a popular kid. Like, you know, uh, if you cosplay, you're generally not. You can just be yourself, just, you know, wearing the art that either you made or someone else made, or whatever, you know. It's, uh, there is no rules for cosplaying at all. It's a um, love of the characters and, or whoever that you see on screen that you cosplay as. Uh, Link is a character in the Legend of Zelda. He is the main avatar player that um, the player plays as. Uh, Link, uh, by design, is mute. Like, in, canonically, in the world, um, he can speak like people ask him his name and he says, my name is so-and-so, whatever you named him. Um, but you never hear him speak. And that is because um, when Nintendo made the character, um, they wanted uh, Link to be a portrayal of the player. I have a love for acting. I'm never, like, my chance of becoming an actor as a career is zero. Like, the most acting I'll probably ever do is, um, you know, just uh, things for friends, or, you know, as side character extras, if that, you know. Really. Um, guys don't wear makeup. Uh, I know how to do makeup just by cosplaying, you know, because getting the high cheekbones, getting the right contouring on the faces, I know how to contour now. I know some people who do it like entirely for the art because it is definitely an art. Uh, those people, they're incredible. I mean, I wish I could be as creative and as driven as them, you know, make their own costumes. They're, and they're huge and wonderful and you just wonder how do they get time and money to do this, you know, in their regular lives. When you cosplay, you, in essence, bring a character to life. This, this is me. I'm. It's me going through this journey, and um, you have to go back to your boring life after it's done. Like I can be playing Warcraft for ten hours, taking down like one of the right hand man or Sargeras of the Burning Legion, and then I've got to go back, go to uni, and you know, write an essay or something, and then. On the weekend, I can cosplay and be that in real life instead. It's that type of thing. One of the, like that's just one of the reasons why people cosplay. I mean, I'm sh I can't read every cosplayer's mind and say why they all do it, but yeah, everyone wants that escapism type of. Everyone wants some escapism in their life through one way or another. Some people it's drinking. For me, it's playing games. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that everyone who doesn't play games drinks, but it's just an example to it, and it's not too destructive, and like, uh, like some things.